So, I got something bothering me a little bit. Uh, today is a pretty fairly cool, um, otherwise very clear and beautiful day in Colorado on vacation, uh, seeing some family. Um, pretty much 100% of which are fairly devout Christians, and I've had to get back into the habit of saying grace and all that. And I was having to think about, you know, maybe I should tell you guys a little bit about how that feels. I'm sure you guys know probably much more uncomfortably than I've had to deal with. It's just that I, I'm pretty sure my mom knows that I'm non-religious at least. I mean, I've shown her a couple of my videos. Um, and she's pretty irreligious too, but uh, she has magical thinking. But um, the rest of my family, pretty pretty heavy on the church stuff. And uh, it, it bothers me. Because what I want to talk about right now is why I don't feel like saying grace and I've avoided this but I'm about to talk about some more personal issues with this good God that we supposedly have and why even though he doesn't exist it's very easy to resent him anyways quite personally see God is not good okay it's the problem of hell all over again because I keep having to look at these Christians just fumble around with the problem of hell. Well, you know, Jesus came to save you. From who? Himself? And, and I love seeing them having, having to explain why, why we have to go to hell. Well, you, you have to go to hell because you are against God's nature. Because he gave you free will. There's no way to circumvent that the only reason anybody goes to hell is because God says so. And the only reason because anybody goes to heaven is because God says so. There's nothing about goodness or righteousness or piety or charity or the quality of your character. It's simply whatever God decides. And we have an obviously imperfect Bible as the only thing that tells us what God decides. So, here we... Here we're just having this problem. I gotta let a dog out here. This is buddy. Uh, just scratching at the door, distracting me. But anyway, as I was saying. But then we have them try to deal with why we go to hell. And that's because we are, are against God's nature or so forth. But the thing is, ultimately, it comes down to why God sends anybody to hell. And that is because he can. If God is good, then he wouldn't send anybody to hell because hell is the most unthinkable atrocity ever imagined by the human mind. And there is nothing that I can personally conceive of, including the famous atrocities of the Pol Pots and the Adolf Hitlers and the Stalins of the world, that justifies hell because see hell is not a corrective process there's a reason why we call prisons corrective facilities and there's a reason why we call spending time in prison rehabilitation it's because whether or not the system works it is an attempt to correct a negative behavior and produce a repentant and positively affected individual. You cannot be rehabilitated spending infinite time in infinite torture. And there's nothing about that that is justifiable in any sense. And just the thought that there could possibly be a being who does hold these rules and requirements and attributes is infuriating to me. And if there is a God, he is a fucking asshole. I've tried to avoid this rhetoric, okay? But right now, I just want to say it. He's an asshole, okay? Because there's nothing rehabilitative about his methods. There's nothing redeeming about his methods. Obey by believing and repenting, whichever particular sect you may think has the right idea of what repentance is, or suffer 
forever. And not just imprisonment, not just isolation, not separation from God, torture. And I don't necessarily have all my biblical chops up, but I was, as a Christian, having to deal with this issue, thinking to myself, nothing. I got no answer. I just completely lost my train of thought just thinking about what that could possibly be like. We have prisons that suck to be in, but are humane, for the most part, at least on paper. We have means of providing services. You know, you can get a GED in prison. You can learn a trade in prison. You can even earn money in prison, albeit very meager. You can do something. They can use you as pretty much as a wage slave to have some sort of productive means. There is nothing to be gained for anyone or anything in hell. And we have a God who claims not to relish the suffering of those in hell, but who decided what hell was, why it exists, and why we all go there automatically. God is not good. God is a dick.